How would you like to make a music or maps inspired lucky star lamp like this? Well, it's not that hard and we'll show you how to do it at Make Tracks Travel. Today is a make day. And we're going to be making a Japanese origami inspired lucky star lamp. Lucky stars are one of the easiest origami projects to do. Very, very cute. And once you've gotten good at doing it, you can make as many as you like. And we are going to need a few. You can get packs and pads of pre-cut Lucky Star strips, and I'll put some links in the description so you can get hold of those quick and easy, should you wish. Of course, you can make your own as well. It's always handy to have a cutting board and cutting ruler, and I'll put some links in the description, but you can just work with scissors. We're cutting our music paper for music lovers into strips which are at least 20 centimetres long and a centimetre thick or deep. So let's fold. I like to start with my right hand with the pointing finger on the top and then we just flip our right hand over to make a loop. And then if you put the backs of your thumbs together, this helps you to create the complete loop. It looks a little bit like an awareness day brooch, a ribbon. We're going to tuck that spare tail behind and through the loop that we've made. We're not folding or creasing anything just yet. And we're just going to shoogle and pull very, very gently. And you can push as well. A bit like tightening a, a necktie. And we're going to tighten that up until the corners meet. And we get a nice little pentagon shape. At which point you can flatten out those folds. And then you might want to rip or cut a little bit of your spare tail off and tuck the rest just behind. So now moving on to the long tail strip, we're going to fold the first fold behind the pentagon, going horizontally from one point to the other side. And then fold upwards, again, always keeping that straight line between two points on the pentagon, folding behind and down, straight line between two points, folding up and in front, straight line between two points. I'm sure you get the idea. I'm just doing this nice and slowly because don't you just hate it when the how-to video goes too fast and you get lost. So we're going to keep going until all of our tail or strip is used up. Um, you could get away with say six or seven folds round but I find the more paper that you fold around the pentagon, the more sturdy and strong it becomes, and that's better for when we're starting to make our little dents and shaping it. So we're just keeping going until all the tails used up, always making those straight lines between two points on the pentagon. And then with that last little tail, you can fold it horizontally across the front and see how far it goes. Now any excess on the other side of the pentagon we're going to chop off. You could just rip it, but we'll, we'll be nice and neat this time and use our scissors. So we're just nicking off a little bit of that excess. And then you'll notice that on the top of the pentagon, the last two folds that you did create a little pocket so the two top layers of paper create a little triangular arrow pointing pocket and it's almost directing you to tuck that tail into that point, into that pocket there, that triangular pocket. And you give it a little tweak and a twiddle with your thumb and finger until it's all tucked away. So then taking our thumbnail, we're going to make a little dent in the middle of each side of the pentagon. Now, you could use a, a cocktail stick or a chopstick, thin end or a thin dowel. 
and you can just make a small dent to start with. You can always go back round and give them another push and another squeeze. So there's the star and we're just going to give each of the tips of the star a little squeeze just to define the shape. And you have a music lovers, music paper, lucky star. So we're going to rinse and repeat, we're going to need a lot of these. Put on a good movie in the evening and you can fold away. So here's method two, we're actually folding the same. I'm going to use a map this time for travel lovers, lucky stars. And again we're cutting that into strips and the strips are at least 20 centimeters long and they are a centimeter deep or wide. So start the same again, pointing finger on top and then just flip the right hand over. Thumbnails come together and then flip it back and you have that Awareness Day ribbon brooch type look. Then take that short top tail behind and through the loop. No folding or pressing yet, no creasing. So we'll just gently twitch and twiddle that like a necktie, just tightening it up until the corners meet. And we have our little pentagon. Flatten it all out at that point and then just crease the tail, fold it behind. So the first fold is the same. We're going to take the long tail and we're going to fold that behind horizontally across the pentagon so the top of that tail is making a line between the two points of the pentagon. This is where it starts to get a bit different. We're now folding always on top, but between the folds, we're flipping the pentagon over. So we're folding up and away, flip it over, down and towards yourself, flip it over, up and away. I think this is a little bit easier and you can go a little bit faster because you can always see what you're doing rather than folding behind. So flip over, fold up and away. Flip over, down and towards yourself. And then flip up and away. So we're now at the end of our tail, our strip. We fold it over the front one more time and we're going to snip any excess off. There we go. So we're looking for that little triangular pocket made by the top two layers of card there, of paper, and we're tucking that tail into the triangular pocket. So it's going to go underneath those top two layers. And then once it's in, we just keep pushing, rolling that paper in, nudging it in until it's all nice and tight, flush, and you have a nice clean pentagon shape. Thumbnail goes in the middle of each side of the pentagon, just like before. And again, just to say, go for a little crease to start with. You can always go back round and give them another squeeze. Each side of the pentagon. And you can crease that with a thumbnail, a cocktail stick or a chopstick end. And the pentagon has become a star. A lucky star. Give the tips of the star a little squeeze just to find the shape a little bit. And there is your travel lovers map paper lucky star. So we're going to make lots of those and just to show you here is a larger one. For that I've used a strip of paper that is twice the thickness so now instead of one centimeter it's two centimeters across. It's at least 20 centimetres long still and get making lots of stars. I'll put a link for a nice craft bottle in the description but you can upcycle any bottle and we're going to need some wire LED lights. Again links are in the description. You can get quite nice ones where the battery pack looks like a cork so it's very natural in the bottle. We're going to take the LED lights from the open end 
and we're going to just push them down, feed them down into the bottle. I've sped this up because it takes a little while. There we go. You might want to have handy a little chopstick or a, uh, a long wooden kitchen spoon just to poke and prod things into the right place. And then once you've got your bottle full of your wire lights, we're going to take our lucky stars. I'm going to do layers of music and maps. So we just drop those stars into the bottle. Now you might want to give the bottle a wee shake. Again, you might want a chopstick handy or a long handle wooden spoon just to poke things down, get them down there. And then keep filling. And once it's full, there you have it, your lucky star lamp. I've done a layer of music, a layer of maps, and I've topped it off with another layer of music stars. It took me about a full day of making stars, although you could do it over a few evenings while you're watching a movie. If you've enjoyed this and you've found value in it, give us a like and a subscribe, and you'll get notifications when there's a new make at Make Tracks Travel. We'll see you again soon.